Desserts are a great option any time of year, but many of us want to kick it up a notch or two for Valentine's Day and deliver something incredible our sweetheart, our friends, or maybe our family will love. Well, we are in luck because Chef Sean Wamsley of Johnny's Italian Steakhouse is here. He is a pro with desserts, and he's got several great options yes. for us. Mouth is watering already. So tell us what we have here, Sean. So we have a smorgasbord of desserts, have you? So we have a tiramisu, so something you're going to have later on in the evening. It's a, we have a ground espresso that we infuse into a custard, and then we make our own house-made ladyfingers. Then we dust it with a little bit of cocoa powder and finish a little bit of warm chocolate. And it's all about the appearance, too, because you kind of eat with your eyes yeah. first. When you think desserts, you kind of think Ferrari. Not mo not as much as a Honda Civic, uh -huh. so you think <laughs> sleek and sexy. So that's kind of how we how we represent our desserts here okay, too. Okay, how about this one? A uh, turtle cheesecake. So it's a rift on your classics. You have your 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 caramel and then your candy pecans, and we have a little bit of hot fudge, and then it's got a brownie crust, and then your New York style cheesecake. Oh, that looks absolutely delicious. Okay, you said you really like this one. Creme brulee is my favorite. So. A lot of times people use vanilla extract, which masks the flavor of vanilla. So we actually use vanilla bean. And then we infuse it in our, in our custard, so our tempered egg yolks with heavy cream. And then we steam it so it sets. And then we take a bunch of sugar, large granules, and we caramelize it. So you get this bitter, sweet sense with the caramel and the smooth cream. Oh, so if somebody loves the vanilla flavor, yes. they're, they're going to gravitate towards you that. You can't miss it. Okay, so for the fruit lovers, we have uh, two options over there. Yes, we do. So first option is our limoncello. It's a classic, classic lemon sponge cake, and what we do is we actually infuse lemon zest and limoncello liqueur into the actual cake, and then we brush it with limoncello, and then we have a raspberry and blackberry jam that we actually spread between each layer. It's about seven to nine layers in between, and if you don't have enough fruit already, we take a raspberry puree and a house-made lemon curd, garnish it on the top with some fresh raspberries. Oh How long does that take? Uh, probably about an hour and a half from start to finish. Okay, a lot of, lot of love and a lot of work lot goes of into that. Okay, yes. moving on. So this weekend is our featured dessert. It's a lemon blueberry cheesecake. So we actually steep the blueberries in white wine and stew it. We puree the blueberries and then we roll it and fold it into our cheesecake batter, bake it in a graham cracker crust, and then we garnish it with fresh blueberries and a house-made lemon curd. Mm, delish. Okay, down at the end, this is the one you're sharing the recipe with us. Yes. So this, apart from the creme brulee, this is probably my favorite cheesecake of the three. Um, we take bananas, we brulee them, so we caramelize the bananas, and we puree the bananas, fold it into the cheesecake. So honestly, if you don't like bananas, this is not your cheesecake <laughs> by any means. And then we but if you do, exactly. you're going to love it. Now, if it's not sweet enough, we actually infuse rum into a buttercream sauce, and that's what's on the top along with caramel. Okay. And so to, to finish this off, that, that's why yes. you brought the, yes, the heavy did. hardware? So I brought a torch, and you can find these at your local hardware stores. They're pretty inexpensive, too, but it's the quickest way to caramelize sugar. Okay, so and you, you use that down here, too. Absolutely. So if he, you, he's going to let me try. I'm, I'm going to attempt to, yes. So just okay. pull hard. Oh you actually pull it a little bit away. There you go. <laughs> so you want the tip of the flame just to hit the caramel. Go ahead. Okay. You're doing great. Blow torch. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look at that. There you go. And we're done. Perfect. <laughs> this was fun. Wasn't Thanks that? for coming on, Sean. Different change of pace. And for if you want the recipe, we will have that on our website, weau.com. Just click on Hello Wisconsin. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me.